Hey there YouTubers! Wanted to do a quick video for you on uh, something that surprisingly enough I haven't covered yet. Um, but uh, yeah, so chronic pain, pain management, and um, I've, I believe I've mentioned over the past however many videos that I've done over the years that I do have um, chronic pain, um, mostly m my upper back. Um, from various surgeries, mostly the last uh, back surgery that I had, which was uh, 2004. So this is, um, I'm doing this video on July 31st, 2022, um, but you're going get, to be getting it a few months from uh, now. Um, so 18, 17, 18, 19 years later, I still have pain from that surgery. Um, I also have ankle, right ankle pain, um, sometimes have shoulder pain, sometimes have elbow pain, various other different pains once in a while. Um, for the most part, um, oh, before I get into what, how I manage the pain, um, I should first mention that, um, most of my aches and pains tend to get worse when the weather's poor, meaning when it rains, I'm more achy or I have more pain. Um, in cold weather, I tend to have more pain, with slight exceptions. For example, like I'm experiencing some tendonitis in my uh, right elbow, so I've been actually I've been using ice on that, and it's been helping out quite a bit. Now, the thing that sucks is I really, really hate coldness, so <laughs> I'm miserable when I have the ice on, but afterwards it feels a lot better. Same for my wrist. Um, so I had that cyst um, right here on my wrist. I mean, I still have it, but it's not really pronounced right now. Um, so I have pain from that. And also I had significantly more pain after the car accident in this wrist. Um, so I also use ice on that. Helps out quite a bit. Um, I'm able to tolerate the ice more on my wrist than on my elbow. On my elbow, it's a lot more bothersome while I'm doing it. Uh, okay, so getting into... Uh, I mean, that's that's already getting into how I manage the pain, but... Um, so for the back pain, heat helps a lot. Um, like, uh, hot tubs help tremendously for that. Uh, just being in warm weather helps tremendously for that. Um, for the most part, um, excuse me, for the most part, I don't use medication um, to alleviate any of the pains I have. Um, hey there, I had a brain fart, so I had to stop and restart. Um, so anyway, very, very rarely I, um, I use medication to to alleviate pain symptoms. I don't really like doing that. Sometimes it's really the only option. Uh, but if I can avoid it, I, I usually try to do that. Whether it means um, finding an alternative method of pain management or just dealing with the pain. But when the pain gets bad enough, yeah, I will use um, medication sometime. Um, I Once after um, lithotripsy, I was prescribed Vicodin. Um, lithotripsy is where they try to break up a kidney stone using, a, I think, sound waves. Um, and I had a, an extreme amount of pain from that the first time. And the second time, I hardly had any pain. But the, f but the first time, I had a lot, a lot, a lot of pain. And um, so they prescribed me Vicodin. My, um, my kidney doctor prescribed me, or my urology guy prescribed me Vicodin, and I, I took a couple, I, I used that for like two days, and I developed uh, hiccups that wouldn't go away, so after that I was like, okay, I'm not going to do this anymore, uh, and it wasn't really helping the pain at all, so I was just like, you know what, I'm going to deal with the pain so I don't have hiccups, it was also preventing me from eating, because I, I couldn't, I had like zero appetite for anything, so I stopped taking the Vicodin, and Obviously, the pain was still there, um, but it was there even with the Vicodin. Uh, but I could eat, and I stopped having hiccups, so that was a plus. 
So other than that, and other than like um, certain um, things that they would give you immediately after like major surgery, um, uh, like uh, codeine or morphine or oxycotton, oxycodone, stuff like that, um, I uh, I've only really use over the counter stuff, meaning Aleve. I usually don't take Tylenol um, for pain because it doesn't do anything for me. Um, Aleve works fairly well um, for me, um, and f uh, for for headache pain, I use Excedrin because uh, nothing else really touches headaches. Um, thankfully, I don't get headaches too often. Although I before I went through that Cipro. Um, um, reaction, you know, the reaction to the ciprofloxacin that I've, that I mentioned years ago in my videos. Um, before that, I, I almost never got headaches. So now I get them a bit more frequently and I absolutely blame it on still having a prolonged reaction to that medication. Um, but, um, yeah, Excedrin, Excedrin usually does the trick. Usually I only have to take one. Every once in a while I'll have to take two. Um, but for the most part, Aleve does the trick for me in terms of other pain, ankle pain, back pain, shoulder pain, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, an interesting thing about Aleve and other um, anti-inflammatories is that um, if you have a prolonged dry cough, and I realized this years ago because I, I was getting ready to do a show um, Actually, I was getting ready to do hair down in Venice, Florida, and uh, I went to um, Comic-Con down in Tampa uh, like a month and a half before the show, and it was pouring rain, and I ended up with a cough after that because um, I had to walk like a mile since there was no parking near the event. So I had to walk like a mile or so, or push my wheelchair a mile or so to get to the event, and then a, a day or two after that, I, I had a cough and it would not like would not go away. And then I read somewhere online that if you take anti-inflammatories for a dry cough, it usually helps. So I tried that. I took a leave for like mm, four or five days. Cough went away. And I was whoa, it blew my mind. So keep that in mind if you have a dry cough. If you have a productive cough, it's a leave's not really going to do anything because the this. Um, the cough is being caused by whatever mucus or junk is in your lungs. But if you have a dry cough, m more than likely that's caused by inflammation and the anti-inflammatories, meaning Aleve or whatever else, uh, typically will help with that. Now keep in mind for that and for any other kind of pain stuff, long-term use of pa any pain medication is going to cause you problems. Um, potentially liver problems, kidney problems, um, per perhaps constipation, variety of issues. So for the most part, you don't want to be using any pain medication for an extended amount of time. Um, and in general, before starting any, using any kind of medication, even if it's over the counter, you'd want to check with your doctor, especially if you're on other types of prescription medications or over-the-counter medications because, you know, medications have a tendency to interact with each other and bad things could happen. So definitely do your research and talk to your doctor before trying any kind of medication. Um, I think that about covers it. So um, I know there are other methods for, like, pain management, including um, acupuncture. I tried acupuncture once um, it was on a um, it was on a cruise. They had like a free um, acupuncture trial thing. Um, I didn't really get anything out of it, but it's entirely possible that I it, that was because I didn't do the the full um, <clears throat> method of acupuncture. So, not really sure. Some people swear by it. I don't. I don't think I really know enough about it to know for sure. Um, but yeah, for most, for the most part, um, you know, ankle pain, uh, 
is usually the ankle pain I would say is usually ice yeah the ankle pain is usually ice elbow pain usually ice wrist pain usually ice back pain heat Abs definitely 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 heat and that's um that's I, I would say that's been pretty typical for me for a long long time um, you know, as I'm getting older, I have more aches and pains, um, but I really, really do try to stay away from taking care of them with, um, drugs. Uh, any hoodle doodle. Um, and actually yoga, so I've, I've had this yoga series going on for a while now. Yoga tends to help with certain pains, um, which is really cool. Anyway. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to check me out on Patreon and stay safe out there.